right, so uh, in today's edition of uh, what the fuck is he doing now? Um, so what I'm actually in the middle of doing, and I kind of am at a stopping point because I'm waiting for wire to come in the mail. Uh, but this guy right here, this board, is actually called an NES RGB. And what it does is it actually converts the, uh, uh, the video signal into an RGB signal instead of the... Um, original output of the NES, which was that like dirty composite signal, uh, just makes it look nice. Um, this particular version of the board actually um, uh, fixes some sync issues too, which is kind of cool. Uh, but um, so what I had to do is I had to take this, which is the PPU or the picture processing unit, I guess is what they called it, and um, I had to desolder this and then put this little uh, guy into here. Um, and that's just an adapter so I can put the board on there and then uh, I had to solder the PPU to this board so now all of the video signal is going to be handled through this and all of these wires um, here are and the ones down here are going to go out uh, to various areas these ones just handle the video uh, in the sink uh, as well as like powering the device and these ones down here are pretty cool they're actually um, they do, uh, v like, video filters, so you can actually kind of, like, with a switch, they actually included a switch in the package. Uh, with a switch, you can change what the, um, what the palette looks like. Uh, they're minor changes, but, like, for some games, you can actually kind of make them look better. I probably won't use it that much, because I like the look of the original NES games. But I, I just thought that that was pretty cool, so... Um, I didn't film most of this process because it actually, I didn't want to have to deal with the, you know, the uh, stress of both filming and trying to desolder, especially because I have this shitty desoldering pump. I even messed up, if you look right here, uh, there's a wire uh, that I ended up having to, um, I ripped up a trace on this pin right here. So, um, I realized that the wire went, or that trace went down to here. So, I soldered a line into here, and then, um, attached it into the same via that the pin's in. Um, so that connection was restored, but, yeah, I mean, just that alone, uh, I didn't want to have to film it, and, you know, any other issues that came with it, because that was even without any distractions. Um, so yeah, basically... Uh, the board just kind of pops into here, like this, I have to line everything up. Pops right into there. And then, um, that's it, yeah. So today I'm done, I'm waiting for some 30 aug kynar, kynar wire, so I can hook up the, um, the rest of the switches. And I can hook up the switch and the rest of the the connections that need to go around the board. Uh, but once that's done, I'll be able to put it together and test it. I'm actually really excited because I this is the part that I could fuck up. Putting wires and attaching them to other things on the board, that's the easy part. But pulling a 30-year-old chip out of a 30-something-year-old console... Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, that is... You know, if I'd broken any of these legs off, it would have been game over. So, uh, I'm pretty competent with the rest of it. But, yeah, so this is pretty much... Uh, that's pretty much it so far. So, uh, the other thing that I actually thought was cool... Um, is, uh... If you look at this particular chip right here... Um... That leg is gone, um, and I thought I had messed something up, because the leg was there, I just took it out because I realized it wasn't necessary, but somebody had just clipped it. Um, but I thought I messed something up because I was, uh, I had to bend these over in order to get the thing out. And apparently what this does is it's the lockout chip, so it prevents you from playing certain games, uh, that weren't officially licensed by Nintendo or some other things. So the person that I bought this console from actually already had taken care of that, so that's kind of nice. Um, I actually didn't know what that chip did until I looked up, uh, the, the number of the chip, and then somebody's like, oh, how to disable the lockout, and then it was literally just clipping that. So, 
yeah um that's it uh may update tomorrow when i have the nest of wires that i'm gonna have to wire manage but this has been pretty fun so far so yeah <laughs>